For the first time in nearly two decades, fishers have been granted the legal right to sell fish directly to the public right off their boats in San Francisco. The pilot program introduced by the Port Commission is not only helping local fishers stay afloat, but it's evoking the spirit of the wharf by resurfacing the traditional methods of selling fish. But how is it being regulated? And what does it take for a boat to be transformed into a floating fish market? Find out as we hop on board on this episode of What's Next SF. We're here with Giuseppe Panisi, who's the owner and captain of the vessel Pioneer. And it's no coincidence that your boat is called the Pioneer because it's doing just that. It is the first boat in San Francisco to sell fish directly from the boat. How did you establish your boat into such a floating fish market? Well, you know, um, I always thought that it would be nice to be able to provide fresh fish to the locals because most of the fish markets, you would have to do a large amount of volume in order to bring in enough fish to kind of cover the overhead. And then when you start selling to the public, generally that volume is much less, so it makes it kind of hard to, you know, make enough money. So being able to do this is really, uh, it's a big positive thing, I think, for the entire community. A very positive thing. As a third generation fisherman, Giuseppe, or Joe as his friends call him, has been trawling the California waters for sustainably caught seafood from an early age. And since obtaining his permit to sell fish directly to the public, he's been able to serve customers fresh quality fish at an affordable price. Right now we're just selling, you know, what a lot of the market's like, flatfish and rockfish and what the public likes. So we've been working on our nets for many, many years and we've been putting cameras in them. Our nets are pretty unique because our nets actually have the ability to sort fish. We have all these panels that we open and close. So we actually target different species of fish by adjusting the net. And then, and then not only that, but then the nets sort out the sizes, which is really important. And Joe brings in a lot of fish, around 20,000 pounds per fishing trip to be exact. We had one day one time we sold like almost 18,000 pounds. That's incredible. I know, that was, wow. that's hard to imagine. But this wasn't always the case for Joe. The markets that we have left in California, they're few and far between and um, they are really restrictive. They, they'll let you fish for a couple months and they shut you down. Like a lot of times it's rough weather and if you can't make your delivery, then you lose your rotation. That's why there's hardly any boats left in California because of these market challenges, you know. My boat, quite often was sitting over here uh, at the dock for years and I, I couldn't do anything with it because we had no markets. The ability to go catch fish is fine. I always had those permits, but you couldn't take them off your boat. That was until the Port Commission of San Francisco rallied behind him and voted unanimously to approve a pilot program that would allow fish to be sold directly to consumers right off their boats. The purpose of the program is to allow commercial fishers to sell their fish directly from their boats to the end consumer in a safe and orderly manner for the benefit of the overall fishing community at the Port of San Francisco. We have limited the program to certain types of fish such as salmon, halibut, tuna, and rockfish. Crab is restricted from this program because we did not want to interfere with the existing crab stand sales on Taylor Street and Jefferson Street. So this is not meant to favor one aspect of the fishing industry more than another. It's to basically lift up the whole industry together. And for Joe, the program has been doing just that. It was almost breathtaking whenever I woke up one morning and I got my, my federal receiver, my first receiver's license in the mail, and, and that gave me permission to actually take fish off my boat. Once we started being able to sell the wholesale, it kind of opened things up a little bit because now that we have that federal permit, and then I was able to petition the city council and then getting permission from uh, San Francisco to be actually to use the dock and sell fish here. It was a big turning point because we really didn't think or know that we were going to get such a positive response from the public. And so uh, we're, we're getting thousands of people coming down here buying fish every week. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. They like the fish so much, they take pictures of it whenever they cook it. And then they send us all these pictures oh, yeah. and then they ask us, you know, constantly uh, for certain types of fish now, and they, uh, when they come down here, um, the one thing that they say is that they're so amazed that the fish is so fresh that they could eat a little bit during the week and it's still fresh all week in the refrigerator. So that's really cool. This fish is very fresh and the price is super. I don't think you can get in anywhere in the Bay Area. I can steam it, 
I can deep fry. I can stir fry. Wow, you can do anything you want. I just can say that's good place to shop, and that you have good experience. You just feel good. See. <laughs> this program supports the port strategic plan in terms of engagement because it's connecting people to the waterfront and also economic vitality because it's helping the fishermen make ends meet. It's, uh, they have no guarantees in their businesses, not like some people, and we want to do everything we can to help them uh, have a good and thriving business. How does it feel to be able to sell your fish locally kind of in the traditional way that your grandfather probably did? When I was a kid and I used, my, I used to work at my dad's fish market, a lot of the markets we sell to now are, are second, third, fourth generation markets, you know. So I remember as a kid putting their, their tags on the boxes of fish that might we shipped out of Monterey and would ship up here or down in LA, you know. So um, it's kind of cool that we're, you know, we're still dealing with the same families, you know. And, and this is probably about the only way anyone can really survive in California is to sell your own fish. One of the advantages of this program is they can talk to the people that pulled in the fish, they can find out where they caught it, find out a little bit more about the fishermen, and that adds to their experience. The feedback from the fishers has been very good. The feedback from the customers has been very good. There's a lot of people coming down to the wharf now that might not have done so. In fact, even there's people that go to some of the re neighboring restaurants that are going to eat fish inside, but before they go in, they see the action on the dock and they want to kind of look at what's happening on the boat before they go in and have their meal. So it's generated some conversation down at the wharf and that's a good thing. As you can see by the line of people forming behind me getting ready to buy fish, the pilot program has been a huge success. For more information, visit sfport.com.